Hi, my name is Andre, and in this module I will be talking about errors and exceptions. Python provides two very important features to handle any unexpected error in your Python programs and to add debugging capabilities in them. Exception handling by try accept blocks and assertions. Try and accept. If an error is encountered, a try block code execution is stopped and transferred down to the accept block. In addition to using an accept block after the try block, you can also use the finally block. The code in the finally block will be executed regardless of whether an exception occurs. The last line of the error message indicates what happened. Exceptions come in different types and the type is printed as part of the message. The types in the example are zero division error, name error, and type error. The string printed as the exception type is the name of the built-in exception that occurred. This is true for all built-in exceptions, but need not be true for a user-defined exception, although it is a useful convention. Standard exception names are built-in identifiers, not reserved keywords. The rest of the line provides detail based on the type of exception and what caused it. The preceding part of the error message shows the context where the exception happened, in the form of a stack traceback. In general, it contains a stack traceback listing source lines. However, it will not display lines read from standard input. Built-in exception lists the built-in exceptions and their meanings. The try statement works as follows. First, the try clause, the statements between the try and accept keywords, is executed. If no exception occurs, the accept clause is skipped and execution of the try statement is finished. If an exception occurs during execution of the try clause, the rest of the clause is skipped. Then, if its type matches the exception named after the accept keyword, the accept clause is executed and then execution continues after the try statement. If an exception occurs which does not match the exception named in the accept clause, it is passed on to other try statements. If no handler is found, it is an unhandle exception and execution stops with a message as shown above. A try statement may have more than one accept clause to specify handlers for different exceptions. At most, one handler will be executed. Handlers only handle exceptions that occur in the corresponding try clause, not in other handlers of the same try statement. An accept clause may name multiple exceptions as a parenthesized tuple, as we can see in the example above. Note that the parentheses around this tuple are required because accept value error was the syntax used for what is normally written as accept value error, as in modern Python. The old syntax is still supported for backwards compatibility. This means accept runtime error, type error, is not equivalent to accept runtime error, type error, between parentheses, but to accept runtime error as type error which is not what you want. The use of the else clause is better than adding additional code to the try clause because it avoids accidentally catching an exception that wasn't raised by the code being protected by the try except statement. When an exception occurs, it may have an associated value also known as the exceptions argument. The presence and type of the argument depend on the exception type. The accept clause may specify a variable after the exception name or tuple. The variable is bound to an exception instance with the argument stored in instance.args. For convenience, the exception instance defines dunder str so the arguments can be printed directly without having to reference .args. One may also instantiate an exception first before raising it and add any attributes to it as desired. 
As you can see, an assertion is a type of check that you can turn on or turn off when you are done with your testing of the program. The easiest way to think of an assertion is to link it to a raise if statement or to be more accurate, a raise if not statement. An expression is test and if the result comes up false, an exception is raised. If the assertion fails, Python uses argument expression as the argument for the assertion error. Assertion error exceptions can be caught and handled like any other exception using the try except statement. But if not handled, they will terminate the program and produce a traceback. Take a look at this example. Now, take a look at the assertion error. If an exception has an argument, it is printed as the last part, detail, of the message for unhandled exceptions. The sole argument to raise indicates the exception to be raised. This must be either an exception instance or an exception class, a class that derives from an exception. If we need to determine whether an exception was raised but don't intend to handle it, a simple form of the raise statement allows us to re-raise the exception. Take a look at the example in the e-slide. Okay, now that we finished this module, I'll leave you with a short list of the sources used in this presentation. See you soon! Bye-bye!